Hello everyone, it's Benny here, and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about instant wire. Now, as you may know, normal redstone is almost instant as it is. The only things that slow it down are repeaters and torches. So if I just set up like this, and it won't be completely obvious with a one tick delay, but I'll just I'll increase the delay slightly. So there you go. So now if I power this, then you'll notice there's a delay between this wire lighting up and those two wires lighting up. So the idea of instant wire is, what if you could get rid of that delay entirely in everything you do with redstone? And as it turns out, there is an interesting way of doing that. It involves how pistons work. Now, if, interestingly enough, a piston can also receive power from this block right here. So I place a torch here, and the piston receives power. So, what I can do is if I place a redstone torch here, then I, it's currently receiving power. But if the piston retracts, that wire is not receiving power. So, what I can do if these two principles combined, and a bit of a bug in redstone is, if I send power to this torch, then any time it's unpowered, the piston will retract and take power out of this, but it will also nearly instantly retract because of the delay in torches. And since the of piston a actually reacts instantly with the t change of power in this, then what this essentially will do is will cause an instant chain reaction, because the piston will instantly react to the power. So notice there's absolutely no delay between this wire turning off and that wire turning off, because it's instant. So, that's the theory of instant wire. And... This allows you to do some pretty interesting things. So first off, just to prove that it truly is instant, I set up a big chain of these things that I showed you earlier, and I have them going around this winding little pattern, and so here's the output, here's the input. If I turn off the lever, you notice they this wire turned off as soon as this wire turned off. So yes, this truly is instant. So now let's talk about logic with instant wires, because obviously we can't do logic gates quite the same and still have them be instant. So here's basic instant wire logic. So first off, I'm going to do... Hmm, I haven't decided yet. I'm either going to do AND or OR. I think I'm going to do AND, actually. Okay. So we're going to do an AND gate. The way an AND gate works is you simply have a torch that has two pistons like this. And now, if I bring wires around, actually, no, I'm sorry, this is not an anti-gate, this is an OR gate, excuse me. So now if either of these turn off, then it sends power through. So there you go, that's the OR gate. And now for the AND gate. This one was a little bit different. It goes like this. And there we go. So this is the AND gate. It's an, if I send power for... I have to turn off both of them at the same time, because again it's instant, in order for it to actually turn off. So if I turn off both of them at the same time, th only then does it actually turn off. So, it's an AND gate. So, there you go. So, instant wire has been simple enough so far. But, there is a pretty big catch to all this. It obviously can't be all this simple, or obviously everyone will be using it. And, here's the catch. In instant wire, you can't do a NOT gate. There's still only one way to do a true NOT gate, and that's like this. So, yeah, this is still only a way to really do a NOT gate, and that has delay. So, clearly, we can't do an instant NOT gate. So, how on earth can we get around this? And, well, there is a solution, but it's not the prettiest solution you've ever seen. The solution is you have to have two sets of instant wire. One carrying the signal you want, and one carrying the inverted signal. 
That way, if you ever need to invert your signal, you just swap the two wires. So this leads to some rather interesting full logic gates, if you will. So, over here I've built a couple of logic gates, and I do not take credit for the design, they were designed by the Voxelbox. The, and this right here would be the OR gate. Now first off we have an interesting little input panel. This is more or less the input system you will be using for almost any instant wire system. And the way this works is you'll have the torch like, you have this little thing right here. It's a lever on the side of two blocks with wire and a torch. This is the sort of piece that's used for instant input. So, if I send power from right now, for example, you'll notice only the one with the torch is staying on when I hit the run button. But if I turn the other way, it switches them. So that's the way input works. And we'll have this system right here where you know, you just have a button that turns off everything and that sends the power through. So, with that all out of the way, here's the OR gate. It's a little bit odd, we know, and I'll go over how to build this in a second. Actually, probably another video, but for now I'm going to show it to you. And now, if you hit the button, you'll notice right now I'm hit, having both zeros, so it's returning nothing. But if I turn anything on, like this, then that's, that makes the output turn on, that makes the output turn on, and this also makes the output turn on. So there you go, it's an OR gate. And again, you have to have the inverse there, and the inverse is working properly. So now here's the AND gate. It's, if you look, it's pretty much the mirrored OR gate. So, if I send power through now, nothing, send power through, nothing, and of one, nothing, and only if I send both through will I get a one. And I'm going to have a tutorial on how to build these in a moment. But yeah, the, this is basically, well, is the basics of instant wire. And in the next video, I'll probably have a tutorial on how you build these and how they work. And we'll also go over XOR gate. And after that, I'll talk about how you can build more, com bigger and more complicated things with instant wire. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.